I have some big news. For the past three months, I've been subtly hinting at a big addition coming to Breaking in the Habit. From an original reward on my Patreon page that probably didn't make sense at the time, to some very carefully chosen words on some recent vlogs, and even to the picture of the fortune cookie posted on my Instagram last week, I've been leaving clues for the most observant of viewers. And some have actually caught on. I've received questions about it and even received comments congratulating me on something I haven't even announced yet. But for everyone else who didn't catch it, today is the day. After seven months of having to keep it a secret, working diligently behind the scenes to prepare, I'm finally ready to share my big news with you. I wrote a book with like words and stuff. That's right, from this brain came ideas that would be printed on paper and sold. Wherever books are sold, Amazon, I guess? I don't actually know. I'm just excited that it will be sold at all. The title of the book is called What Happens After Saying Yes to God, and it'll be published by Franciscan Media this upcoming February. As I'll be sharing a little bit about it over the next couple months, I don't want to give away the whole book, but I can say that there are essentially two points to it. The first is to remind us that each and every one of us is called by God. Not just me and other seminarians, but you and everyone you know has an intimate call to be a disciple of Christ. Often though, we don't even know what that means or how to figure out what our calling is, and I want to help with that. But that's just the beginning. As difficult as it may be to find out who and what we're supposed to be in this world, the real challenge comes when we find our vocation, but realize that it's much more difficult to live out than we thought. It's a funny thing about Christian life. When we start letting go of our own will and trusting in God, things don't necessarily get easier. In fact, sometimes they get harder. What gives? Why, when we try to do the right thing, would God let life be so difficult for us? Written for anyone who wants to boldly say yes to God in a world that can only say no, I think it will be a great resource for people at all stages of life. For high school students just growing into their faith and saying yes for the first time. For young adults busy and overwhelmed, living on their own, struggling to put that yes into practice. And for the longtime Christian, trying to recapture the excitement of the yes they made so long ago. This book is for all of you. Called, What Happens After Saying Yes to God. Interested in learning more about this book before it comes out, including exclusive interviews, sample pages, and even free giveaways? Then now is the time to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Lots of cool stuff to come.